morning, everybody. Welcome to Lowry at Home. I'm your host, Naturalist Kirk. Today is January 13th, and this is week four of what? No, no. April. Really? April 13th. Okay, uh, it's April 13th, apparently, they tell me. Uh, this is still week four of Lowry at Home, episode 16. And you know, nature can be very changeable on us. And uh, so that has happened. And we're talking about wilderness skills this week. And you want to have some good wilderness skills because when you're out in nature, you never know when things are going to change like this on us. So uh, naturalist Brett did a segment for us on how to start a fire with flint and steel. This is for all the Minecraft fans out there who love using that flint and steel. Spoiler alert, uh, he does not use it to light a giant stack of TNT to explode like they do in Minecraft, but still, he's going to show you how real flint and steel work for starting a fire out there in the wilderness. Take it away, Mr. Brett. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome once again to Lowry at Home. Now, today, we're going to make a fire. Now, a lot of you are like, all right, I'll go get my matches. So, great, go ahead and grab your matches, and when you get them, then just take them and throw them out that way, because we're not going to use those at all. Now, the match has been around for a little over 100 years, but before that, it was friction fire. Let's be honest you use friction with matches anyways but we're going to take you back today to a method that involves steel right here a piece of chert which is very flint like and something called char cloth now you're like wait 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 maybe i can find steel and maybe i can find a piece of flint or that chert but char cloth mr brett how on earth do i make char cloth let me show you all right, so first and foremost, for char cloth, what you're gonna need to find is an old pair of jeans that nobody's gonna use anymore. Don't just grab any random jeans because what's gonna happen next is gonna make them fairly unwearable. You're gonna cut it into some small strips like this and eventually into smaller pieces like this, little squares of denim. You're gonna find a little tin that you can get them in. I don't like putting too much in there because then it kind of smothers itself. You're gonna need, again, a tin that you're not gonna use anymore. You're gonna take and you're gonna, you can see a little teeny hole. We're gonna poke a hole in there. Now we are going to put this in the fire and the fire is gonna start to cook it. And once it is all cooked up and the oxygen is gone from in here, there will be no more smoke coming out of here and we'll know that it's finished. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. All right, so I've got a fire going. I'm just gonna take my little tin right here and place it right on the fire. We're gonna go ahead and watch that start to cook and see what happens. All right, so after about 10 to 15 seconds on the fire, the tin now is starting to smoke. You can see that. That means the char cloth is now being made. You will know it's finished when that smoke stops pouring out of that hole. Woo, that thing is just pouring out of there. All right, you can see the smoke is all but stopped coming out of there in just a moment or two. I'm going to take this off of the fire and open it up. All right, now that it's finished, I'm going to go ahead and safely remove this from the fire as best I can and just bring it over to a place where it can cool off. Just took the lid off. You can see it is still hot, but inside that jean material is now turned into basically charcoal. Once it cools down, it'll be ready to use. All right, so the char cloth has been made. I have my flint and my steel at the ready. Before I start making some sparks and trying to get this going, I'm creating a tinder ball. So in the tinder ball, I basically have taken some rope and I frayed it out because smaller fibers, they burn a lot quicker and a big mass like this will burn really hot. I do have a piece of birch bark that I'm going to sandwich it in once I get my char cloth lit. So now, in order to do this, you're gonna wanna come closer on in here. So I take my steel and I take my shirt. Now, I could try to cast sparks onto this, but I find it's a little bit more productful if I hold it right underneath my rock here like this. And now I'm gonna start kind of making sparks. And my whole hope is that one catches on the char cloth and it holds that spark. And right now, there's a bunch of them that are definitely landing on it. I just need to get one that stays. All right, so now, here's what we got. That little orange spark is caught. That is gonna start to heat up. So I need to get that in the middle of my tinder here. And then I'm gonna tuck it in the middle of this. And then I'm gonna start. You can see the smoke building. I 
And voila, we've got a fire without matches. You can go ahead and try this at home. Of course, be careful, do this underneath adult supervision. And more so, have your fire stuff ready to go so that when this is set and good, you can transfer it to your fire pile, and then you go grab the marshmallows and the chocolate. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time at the Lowry at Home. Thanks, Brett. That was great. Uh, it was really cool to see that. Obviously, Brett had pre-recorded that uh, last week when it was still not snowmageddon out here. But I tell you what, I also asked him to go out and pre-record something else for me. I wanted to do a activity this week where I start a fire using just one branch that has been submerged in water all week long. So... I asked Mr. Brett to gently place a branch into the lake for me. Uh, I think he got some footage of that. Let's see it. Go ahead, Mr. Brett. All right, so Kirk told me I was supposed to put a stick in the water for him, something he's doing later this week with all of you. I hope this one works. That, that's not really, um, that wasn't gentle. I'm gonna have to go out there in that cold water and get that branch uh, for next Thursday so I can show you how to start a fire with a branch that's been underwater all week So I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, meanwhile, we'll see all of you back here tomorrow With uh, another exciting wilderness skill from us out here at Lowry Nature Center. Thanks a lot everybody